even on the final approach, visitors get an impression of how serious Indonesia is about its war on drugs. We would like to remind you that carrying narcotics and drugs is a violation of the law. Heavy penalties are imposed for disregarding the law. Thank you. Only alcohol is legal in Indonesia. But many in the Muslim country would like to see that banned too. But there's a flip side to the tough drug policies. Over time, all narcotics have become suspect. There's a big fear of being penalized for possessing or distributing drugs, even in hospitals and doctor's practices. So many patients with severe pain or chronic disease often aren't prescribed effective painkillers. Patients like Rukila Ve, who has terminal breast cancer. After every radiation treatment, she's in great pain. When the pain started, my breasts swelled and my skin blistered. My body got very, very hot. It was unbearable. It hurt so much that I couldn't stand clothing touching my skin. I only put something on when people were around. Many painkillers are opiates. Raw opium is made from the pods of opium poppies. The dried juice of the poppy is used to make a number of drugs, including heroin and the opium that is smoked. In Indonesia, police patrol bars and discos at night, searching locals and tourists alike for drugs. Possession of even small amounts can land a person in prison for 12 years. Drug dealers can expect life in prison or even the death penalty. Now let's return back to the hospital. Many people who take painkillers are called morphinists in many parts of Indonesia. This may be why doctors at Rukila Ve's state-run hospital won't or can't prescribe painkillers for her. Her husband finds that incomprehensible. When I first brought her to the hospital, she was examined for four days. Then they told us that the cancer was too far advanced to save her and there would be no further treatment. The couple had to turn to an expensive private clinic. It was only here that they finally got help. With the medication, the pain was bearable. But when the medication wore off, we couldn't do anything but cool my wife off with a fan. Dr. Kaya Pornama is the public health department director and himself a doctor in a state-run institution. The health ministry hasn't authorized the use of this type of pain remedy in public clinics, but it has for other hospitals. Doctors have the authority to prescribe morphine if patients want it. But both are taking a big risk, because in this country so little is known about treating chronic pain. The World Health Organization says that every year five and a half million people die in extremely painful conditions. It's an untenable situation for Dr. Lucas Meliala, president of the Indonesian Pain Association. We have to work towards better education in the area of pain therapy in Indonesia. Doctors shouldn't have to fear prescribing morphine. But that will come too late for Rekila Ve. She died shortly after filming this report. <laughs>